So this may look like a normal super minimal window manager, but actually if I go into NeoFetch, it's a window manager called SOWM. This window manager was made by the same person that made NeoFetch, PyWall, if you know what P PFetch is. Um, so it's it's really good. Um, in my directory for it, this is my directory. I have all my wallpapers and things. But the special thing about this is it's very minimal and when compiled now this is after con like after you compile it 24 kilobytes that's how big it is it's 24 kilobytes in size after after you compile it so this doesn't come with a bar um, it doesn't come with um, it doesn't come with tiling, it's floating only. You can full screen everything, but there's no tiling. You can resize everything. And it, on default, the keybinds use suckless terminal and D menu. It's using Windows key. I'm pretty sure that's mod 4. And if I go into Cute Browser, we can go on to the GitHub page and um, here so let's go into this and the cool thing about this is it's inspired by DWM so it has patches not that many though um, so here it is Dylan A. Raff, same guy that made all all the cool stuff so here we go, floating only, full screen toggle, window centering, mix of mouse and keyboard workflow. That may be a downside or an upside to, my, to some people. Focus with cursor, um, rounded corners through a patch. That's a really cool feature. I might show that, might cut it into this video. Title bars through a patch. Um, these are all the keybinds that come with it, so you can focus under cursor, obviously, as it says up there. <laughs> you can move windows, resize windows, uh, maximize windows, which is full screen, center window, kill window, um, desktop swap, send window to desktop, and focus cycle. All the programs uh, comes with volume buttons so that's pretty cool the brightness buttons as well um, wallpaper cycler uh, I don't know what scrot is I think that's a notification manager I'm not sure don't take my word on that uh, D menu as I said before in ST suckless terminal <laughs> this dependency xlib um, and yeah, you just download it from the GitHub, sudo make, install, and there you go. So, yeah, that's about it. We can, um, I'll take you to, through the patching process. So how to patch this program. So, let's do rounded corners. Let's just look at that. Um, so what we want to do is copy this link address and go into the SOWM folder that you have. Okay, so you want to do a wget and then just paste the... Okay, you want to paste that URL um, once you have it, the patch that I just got is named 58.patch. So you want to do patch-p1 <laughs> and then 58.patch. Should do it really quick. Doesn't take that long. And sudo make clean 
Und da. Okay. So, this usually happens for lots of things, but <laughs> what we probably want to do is sudo uiconfig.h and here we let's look at this so we want to add this to our config.h reason being I'm pretty sure it reads from config.h I don't know I'm not sure on that but I think now yeah now it works and then if you X that it, it might throw up some errors. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter though. Um, so now, pretty sure you have, yeah, you have to restart. Um, you have to restart everything. But yeah, this is what I use on my laptop.